I'm going to be completely honest. I'm waking up about two hours earlier than I usually do just so that it appears I'm more productive and that I have my life more together than it actually is. With that being said, it's time to get this day started. It starts with a run. Did a nice, short, quick run, 5K, felt good. Normally, when I do short runs like that, I run at Astoria Park on the quarter mile track, which is a great place to run, but today, I took the scenic route. Right now, though, I need to take a shower because I'm hot, sweaty, and I smell like sh So one of the most important tasks of the day has been completed. I have made my morning coffee and I'm drinking it out of my awesome Harry Potter Gryffindor mug. That's the stuff. And to eat a bag of Cheez-Its. This is only because I ran out of milk for my cereal. I'll have to make do. Besides, the coffee is the important thing. Anyways, I will be going to some more exciting restaurants later, but it is Monday, it's a work day, Time to get to it. It's nearly one o'clock. Got about five hours of work done this morning. Very productive. Now I'm just heading out for lunch. Normally for lunch, I'd be at home making a quick sandwich so I can get straight back to work. But since I'm making this video, I thought I'd go out. I'm heading to a place I've never even been to before. It's in the Ditmars area of Astoria and it's a simple food cart. So it seems like they just sell souvlaki and pitas. I've walked past it so many times. It smells so good and it's really popular. So finally, I get to try it today. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna be walking past one of my favorite spots in the neighborhood, the Doggy Daycare Center. Where do you see this? So cute, right? If that place doesn't make you smile, I'd be worried if you even have a soul. All right, so I got two savlaki sticks, one chicken, one pork. I can't tell which is which, but they look really good. The meat looks fantastic. Got olive oil, salt, oregano, yeah. Made it fresh, looks awesome. I'm gonna try this one first. Mm. That is really good. That is perfectly cooked. Great char, great flavor. This is so good. This is the perfect snack. Check out that beautiful char on the meat. This one's the chicken and it is so good, so juicy, just perfectly cooked. I'm loving this. So each stick also comes with a little piece of bread. Decent. That was such a good lunch. That was seriously some of the best souvlaki I've had in Astoria. And that's saying something. This neighborhood has some of the best Greek food in New York City. So the two sticks are about seven bucks, a pretty solid deal. I got it with everything on it and that's the way to do it. It was so good. Now my sweet tooth is calling though, so time to get a treat. Okay, just stopped by Paris Baguette for a little treat. I got a passion fruit mochi donut. It looks really good. It's super fresh too. Like all the frosting's just getting all over my hands, making a huge mess, but 
yeah, this looks good. Mmm, that is good. Great passion flavor, perfect texture with the mochi donut. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Mmm, I love this. You know, even though Paris Baguette is a chain, it's so good. The quality is phenomenal and the price is so affordable. I love it. This is one of my favorite bakery chains anywhere. This is awesome. So that was such a nice, sweet snack. So that donut is part of their fall pastry selection. So good. The other thing that was really good I had last week, it was this cookies and cream croissant. Fantastic. Now, normally I'd probably head home, have coffee there and continue on with work. But since it is such a nice day out and since I am filming this video, I think I should go out for coffee. Oh my God, look at this. What a fantastic surprise. I was just walking towards the coffee shop and I discovered a new Krispy Kreme store opening up here on the corner of Dittmar's and uh, 31st Street. I'm so happy. This is a phenomenal addition to the neighborhood. Astoria keeps getting better and better. I just purchased a delicious latte. I'm outside here at Kinship Coffee. Now there are a few locations in Astoria, but this is by far the best one. The primary reason why it's so good is this outdoor seating here. Well, the coffee is really good. The nice part about this outdoor setup is it's along a street that's not busy like 30th Avenue or Broadway. So you can really sit back, relax, and do a little reading, which is exactly what I'm about to do. So the current book I'm reading is The Cult of We. It is about we work, and it is insane. This is a nonfiction book. I can't believe something like that happened, but so far, so good. I'm almost finished with it, though, but yeah, really enjoyed it so far. That was such a nice and relaxing time at Kinship Coffee. That's one of my favorite things to do. Have a nice cup of coffee and read a book. Now, since I'm like right next to Astoria Park, I think I'm gonna go there for a quick walk, maybe get some good photos. This has been a very enjoyable walk here at Astoria Park. That's one sign of a good neighborhood. Good public parks and Astoria Park is an incredible place. Now, I gotta return back to my apartment, get back to work. I'm back home, time to get back on that grind. Just had a very successful three or so hours of work, got a lot done, even had time to call my parents. And now it is dinner time, and to keep things interesting, I'm not gonna make some crap in the kitchen here, I'm gonna take advantage of all the wonderful restaurants in Astoria and get takeout. I'm feeling like Japanese tonight. All right, so I'm gonna go to Tamashi Ramen. It's on Broadway in Astoria here. This uh, shrimp looks like a good appetizer. And this curry ramen here, this looks really good. Uh, definitely gonna get the extra noodles. Just placed my order, gotta get to the restaurant because the food is usually ready very quickly. Don't want it to get cold, gotta move. Ah, uh, such wonderful fall weather outside. Now it's the perfect temperature. Love a nice evening walk. And these are easily the best kinds of walks, the ones where you end up getting food. Back at my place, got my food, time to rip off these clothes, chill, watch a movie, and have some dinner. There is a very good chance I may have gotten too much food, but that is not a bad problem to have. All right, time to eat this. Gonna watch a movie, gonna watch Croupier. It's on Netflix, it's with Clive Owen. Super excited about that, never seen it. Can't wait. Let's get this evening started. Ah, 
<sighs> Just finished watching The Croupier. It was a good movie. Smart story, interesting, kind of artsy. Overall, I liked it. I'm not sure if I'm saying that word right. Croupier or croupier? Anyways, my dinner. Awesome. Loved everything. Really enjoyed that curry ramen. The broth was on point. The right amount of curry flavor and the chicken, perfect. It maintained a nice crisp, even though it was soaked in that broth. Overall, it was a really, really good bowl of ramen. And the shrimp tempura was really nice as well. I just wish there was more shrimp though, because it was so good. But overall, it's just really nice to sit back, relax, have a nice dinner, watch a good movie. It's a simple pleasure, but it's a good one. So it's about 11.40 right now. I think I'll just do some light work before I go to bed. You know, nothing serious. Maybe some photo editing. I'll listen to a podcast while I do it. Simple stuff. And after that, bedtime. Overall, this has been a really good day. You know, it's not a typical day in my life here in Astoria. I mean, I don't eat out twice or take like a three and a half hour break in the afternoon in the middle of a work day, but it was still a really good day. And you know, I wanted to make it exciting somewhat. Yeah, I won this day, made all the seconds count. That's what I call a success.